What's up guys, John here. We're back with another hot lap video. This time we're in S-Class at Mugello Club. We are in the SRT Dodge Viper, 926 horsepower, 6-1 handling, 9-1 acceleration, bit of a beast. If you've seen the tuning guide on my YouTube channel, if you haven't already seen it before, please do check it out. Uh, very worth it, uh, absolute beast of a car. Uh, so why did I choose this car around here? Um, well I just wanted to try it for some fun as part of a weekly hot lap challenge that the FRA guys host. If you want to get involved on that please uh, let me know in the comments below and uh, I'll be able to get you hooked up with their Discord. But as you can see this car, kind of like trying to wrap it around, trying to have it bounce over curbs and that seems to be like the real pain point of this Viper. It is super super difficult in the 2013 fight for it to ride over curbs, it often gets very unstable and then it triggers a lot of bog from the traction control, like TCS just kicks in way too much and then yeah you just struggle a lot so it turned out for me that it was virtually impossible with my old tube to run good times, I, I struggled to even get a mid 56 so I ended up revamping, doing some more traditional setup I found that the key is with the springs, that's where you want to focus on. I won't be making another shooting guide for this, but the springs, focus on the springs. So let's get onto this lap, this is my best one of the session. Uh, so I'll try to avoid this curb on the left hand side because the car retaliates way too much from it. And then I'll try and touch the curbs as little as possible throughout the track, apart from this one coming up into the left to be brake. Then I'll try and cross over as much of it as I can because it helps hook it round and then I try and swing the back out and then get on the power down as early as possible um, as you can see we're up against a Alpha 33 to drop there which is an absolute beast it tops out at 160 but it has mad acceleration patiently bring it through the final turn and then as you can see the Stradali is ahead but then we start to get that top end and it pulls us through to get a low 55 so really good time that we managed to pull off there. Didn't think this would be a Dodge Viper that would actually work here. I thought it would be all the grip ones. But hey, there you are. If you enjoyed the video, guys, please like, subscribe if you haven't already, share the video so others can enjoy it too. And I'll catch you again soon.